Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a system of equations. Well, kind of. We have four equations and six unknowns. A, B, C, X, Y, Z are all unknown, pretty much. And we're supposed to find A plus B plus C. So, I'm going to be presenting two methods. Let's take a look at the first one first. My first method involves substitution. But when I say substitution, what am I going to substitute, right? Well, here's the thing. I'm going to make up some values and substitute them. All right. Since we have some freedom, uh, we can't really choose uh, all of A, B, C or all of X, Y, Z, but we can choose some of them. So here's what I'm going to do. And since I'm given, why did I say four equations? Because this one is gives us three equations and this one gives us another equation. So that's a total of four equations for six unknowns, which means that we can't individually find the values. All right, so let's go ahead and make the following replacements. I would like to replace A and B with three. Reason being, I want to get an easy value for X and Y. If A and B are both equal to three, this implies that X and Y are both equal to 1. Because if you substitute here and here, you're going to get the X and Y values, right? Okay, great. So now I got four values. And for the Z value, I'm going to find it from my equation. Why? Because I'm given 1 over X plus 1 over Y plus 1 over Z. So that uh, gives us the value of Z. Let's go ahead and plug it in. So we have 1 over x plus 1 over y plus 1 over z is equal to 5. And then re let's replace x and y with 1. So that's going to give me 1 plus 1 plus 1 over z equals 5. If you subtract 2 from 5, you get 1 over z equals 3. And this implies z equals 1 third. Great. So I got the value of x and y because we just made it up. And... From that, we got, we got the z value. Now, would it matter if you pick different values? We can test it out. Like, you can pick x equals, um, you know, a equals b equals 1. That would give you 3 and 3 for x and y. You can plug it in and then find the z and then see if that makes a difference. And you'll notice that it doesn't. Okay, great. So, now I got the values of x, y, and z, but the question is finding a plus b plus c. But I already have a and b, so all I have do left is finding um, c. But I do know that cz is equal to 3, and if z is equal to 1 third, c times 1 third is equal to 3. This implies that c equals 9. Great. So now I have a equals b equals 3 and c equals 9, and I'm supposed to find a plus b plus c, which is equal to 3 plus 3 plus 9, and that is equal to 15. All right, great. So that is the end of the first method by making up values. Again, if you made up different values, and you can easily test it out. I mean, this is not too hard to test, but if you pick, for example, a equals b equals 1, then you would get x and y would be both 3, and then by substitution, you're going to get two-thirds. Five minus two-thirds is going to give you, you know, 13 thirds. And reciprocal of that would give you Z, which is three thirteenths. And from here, you can just find the C value and so on and so forth. Guess what? You're going to get the same answer. Okay. What is the answer? The answer is 15 because we're looking for A plus B plus C. Let's go ahead and talk about the second method. Now, the second method is purely algebraic. Let me rewrite my system. Second method, AX equals BY equals CZ equals 3. And we're given that 1 over X plus 1 over Y plus 1 over Z is equal to 5. And remember, the answer is 15. Does that have anything to do with 3 times 5? Let's find out. Okay, now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be solving these three equations for X, Y, and Z. Why? Because I do have an equation in X, Y, Z. So if I can get X, Y, Z by itself, I can substitute into the second one and hopefully get something from there. So since AX equals 3, this means X is equal to 3 over A. 
since a, not a, b I meant, since by is equal to 3, then from here y is equal to 3 over b, since cz is equal to 3, z equals 3 over c. Now, remember, we have an equation like this one, 1 over x plus 1 over y plus 1 over z, so the sum of the reciprocals. So what is that equal to? Since we have x, y, z, we can kind of plug it in. 1 over, x, uh, 1 over x is the reciprocal of x, and x is equal to 3 over a, so the reciprocal of 3 over a is a over 3, reciprocal of y is b over 3, and reciprocal of z is c over 3. And this gives us a plus b plus c over 3. But we do know that 1 over x plus 1 over y plus 1 over z equals 5, therefore this equals 5, and now by using cross multiplication, we get that a plus b plus c is equal to 3 times 5, which is 15. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.